In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to make the cow catcher. We'll go up to New, Standard.IPT, click Create. I'm going to start a 2D sketch, and for this one, I like to build it from the top plane. A lot of times it tends to rotate at 90 degrees, and in most cases I would turn it back to where the word top appeared upright like you normally read it. But I want to build this one such that I'm going to uh, rotate it 90 degrees the opposite. So it's going to be where the word top is upside down. And it's because I'm kind of building it like a house. So I'm going to come along the bottom starting at the origin here and out to the right, and this would be the floor of the house, and we'll put in 1.8 inches then the right side wall coming up is going to be 0.25 inches tall we need to grab the line feature again and start back at the origin and come up 0.25 on that side as well to build the other wall now where my roof is going to go I'm going to set that by putting in a point first so instead of a line I'm going to come up use the point feature and just kind of place it initially to locate it I'll use the dimension tool so from the um, bottom of the house to the top of the roof is going to be one inch and from the side wall to the center point would be half of the 1.8 so it should be 0.9 I can complete it by clicking the top of the uh, left wall and going to the top of the roof and then from there to the top of the right side wall to complete what would be like a little elementary kid drawing a house we'll finish the sketch and then what we need to do is kind of create this again up above but it's in a smaller version of it to do that I'm going to do an offset from plane so I come in and I choose the plane come down to the second option here offset from plane and there's really nothing that I can click here what I need to do then is in the browser and if you don't have the browser up go to view user interface and turn it on here but I'm going to come over and expand and then I'm going to look for the plane that I drew it on so in this case for me it's the XZ plane and I'm going to click there then I need to tell it how high it comes up and it's going to be elevated above at 0.75 inches type that in and hit enter we'll start a 2D sketch on this plane and you may remember from previous lessons that we've got to have it kind of light up so when it highlights and it says work plane across it then I can click on it to select it I want to rotate it again get the same thing and we're going to come in along the bottom here and draw a line this line is going to be 1.2 inches I didn't start it at the origin if you do you're going to get locked in and not be able to move it so I started off to the edge and I need to dimension that from here to the origin is going to be half of the difference between the two so 1.8 minus 1.2 is 0.6 half of that would be 0.3 that's going to center it up for me we're going to come and draw our walls and our walls are the same height they're going to be 0.25 and then the line feature and the opposite side 0.25 I'll make the roof point again by using the point. We're going to click it and dimensioning from the line down here to that point is 0.75. And from the side to the center point is going to be half of the 1.2, which would be 0.6. Use the line feature to then connect the wall to the top of the roof and back to the opposite wall. finish your sketch and we're going to come in we've used the extrude and the uh, revolve for some I'm going to use the loft tool for this one I click loft and I'm going to come down and click the bottom sketch and then I'm going to come up and click the top sketch and click OK if I don't want to look at this plane anymore, which I don't, I can come over in the browser, right click on it, and turn the visibility off. Now the inside of this is hollowed out from the bottom. 
to do that, I'm going to roll it up this direction, and we're going to find the shell option, which is located here. I'll click it, set my thickness to 0.1 inches, and I'm going to click the bottom face and OK. So that hollowed out the bottom but left me 0.1 inches all the way around. We have a little design on the front edges that are cut into it. I'll click start a sketch and click on the face here. If this does not allow you to click on it then something happened with your sketch and you need to go back and figure out where one of your dimensions is off. But I'll click on that face. I'm going to do a project geometry and click on this face. What that did was give me an outline of the entire feature. And the tool that I'm going to use is an offset. I'm going to click that, click the outline that we created, pull it in, and the size on this is 0.1. Hit enter. Then finish the sketch. Do an extrude. Select that uh, inner portion that we just created. We're going to cut this down 0.05. I'm going to change it to a cut. And if it's facing the wrong way, mine's still pointing out. I need it to point in to cut it into it. And then click OK. We'll do the same thing on this other face. So I'll start a 2D sketch. Click that face. Go back to Project Geometry. You could project the lines individually, but if I happen to hit just in the middle of the face, it's going to do all of them for me. Then again, back up to Offset, click, drag in, type in point 0.1, and Enter. Finish the sketch. We'll do an Extrude again, selecting that same part, 0.05. Change it to a Cut, and click OK. So what remains is we need to put the pegs on the back. I'm going to start a sketch here on the back face. And you might remember from the train body that you had three holes in the front of the train. Well, now we're making three pegs that are going to attach to it. Make sure that you don't hit any of these existing lines. If you do, it'll lock into those. So I just want to pick a blank spot. They are 0.125 in diameter. And we're going to put three of them on here. The top one is going to be dimensioned in the center, left to right. And sometimes this is tricky trying to come over and click the point. Uh, it's usually easier if you choose the origin side. So I'll choose the origin and the center point here. And then we'll dimension, since it was 1.8 across, it's going to be 0.9 to the center point. And it's going to be 0.625 from the bottom to that location. then these are 0.625 away from that point and the same thing on the other side from here to the center point of this one 0.625 and from the bottom it's going to be 0.125 We'll finish the sketch, extrude the three of those out. So I'm going to select the three circles that I just created, and they get extruded out. I believe 0.125, and OK. And then they have a little bit of a chamfer on the end of them. Next to the fillet tool is another one called chamfer select it, use the drop down, and one of them will just do edges. The next option will do a distance with an angle. We want the 45 degrees and we want this to be 0 0.01. Make sure it's 0 0.01 not 0 0.1. 
then you'll come in and you'll click the face here and then click the edge and apply it then do the same thing for the next one click the face and the edge apply and finally the last one click the face the edge and OK that completes the play the pegs the chamfer on it allows it to insert more easily into the front of the train I can take it back to the isometric view and we've got it completed so I'll click Save and we'll call this cow catcher.